Bell's case, People versus Monet Mudella Bay. Ray Pyderon on behalf of the people. Freddie Judge, Torsho Feaster, Assistant Public Defender on behalf of Ms. Mudella Bay. Uh, please unmute and state your name for the record, ma'am. Hi, it's Monet Madula Bay. Madula Bay. Thank you, Judge. I have spoken to her as well as to the prosecutor's office. Uh, my understanding is there is an offer in this file for her to plead guilty to count one under the HIDA program with an agreement to alcohol testing, and count two will be dismissed, Your Honor. She'd that like to correct. do that today. I'm sorry, she wished you to do that? Yes. Sir. Yeah. All right, I do need you to turn on your camera, if you would. Yeah. I just woke up, guys. <laughs> and here we go. So it'll be a plea to count one. Yes, Judge. Yes. Okay, and you said that's with alcohol screening. Yes, Judge. With alcohol testing or screening, I guess. Testing I'm... is what I received. Testing, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. So that has to be part of any sentence. All right. Okay. So it's apparent that this Morris Sauver, Miss Bay, has an alcohol problem. She was arrested for being intoxicated in public. So right here, she's at her court hearing, I guess, trying to take a plea deal. So let's see how this goes. All right, got it. All right, ma'am, can you please raise your right hand? You solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you guys. I agree. All right. State your name for the record. Monet Medulla Bay. All right. You can put you can put your hand down. I want it. All right, <laughs> right ma'am. It is this court's understanding that you're going to plead guilty to the charge of disorderly person drop. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to nine days and or a five hundred dollar fine plus court costs. Can understand? you repeat that last part? please which last part um just the whole thing <laughs> so it wasn't the last part you need the whole thing repeat yeah i just want to be at this point say the whole thing i want to be sure your years and then you'll be good <laughs> that's the problem okay ah, yeah i know okay <laughs> so <laughs> you're pleading guilty to the charge of disorderly person drunk that is yes. a misdemeanor punishable by up to 90 days in jail and or a $500 fine plus court cost. Do you understand that? Yes. Understanding all that, do you still wish to plead guilty? Yes. And to that charge, how do you plead? Um, when you say that, you want me to just say what happened, right? Uh, excuse me, ma'am, but what in the doohickey is wrong with you? The judge just asked you if you wanted to plead guilty to the charge and you said yes and now he's asking you to that charge what do you wish to plea you are supposed to say guilty what is wrong with you ma'am it seems like this Morris woman might actually be a little drunk at this court hearing and I hope that's not the case she clearly just woke up she has a towel over her head and she looks like she has on a bathrobe. So she's already just look out there looking crazy. She, she's making you Morris people look crazy right now. <laughs> You're pleading guilty to the charge of disorderly person drunk. That is yes. a misdemeanor punishable by up to 90 days in jail and or a $500 fine plus court costs. Do you understand that? Yes. Understanding all that, do you still wish to plead guilty? Yes. And to that charge, how do you plead? Um, when you say that, you want me to just say what happened, right? You have to well, say, do you plead guilty? Oh, yes. I plead guilty for being drunk and disorderly and okay, resisting okay. and being alone. He's going to ask you what happened. So hold on a second. Oh, okay. As soon as I advise you as to what your rights are, you're pleading guilty. Is that correct, ma'am? Yes. All right. Now, you understand that by pleading guilty, you'll not have a trial of any kind. I won't have a trial. That's what I said. You understand okay. that? That's yes. the case? Mm -hmm. All right. Because you're not having a trial, you're giving up certain other rights. You're giving up your right to call witnesses to speak for you at trial or to have this court compel their attendance. You're giving up your right to see, hear, and question all witnesses against you at trial. 
You're also mm -hmm. giving up your right to be a witness for yourself or to remain silent and not have that silence used against you. And you're giving up your right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You understand that? Yes. You understand you're giving up your right to appeal of right? Yes. Are you on probation or parole? No. Has anybody promised you anything other than dismissal of count two to get you to plead guilty to this court? Um, yes, the first judge that I'd seen, she said she was going to give me a personal bond. I don't know if that was for the first time. I went you mean to the magistrate? The, you didn't see a judge. You saw a magistrate the first time. Oh, magistrate. That's what her name is? So the first time she didn't see a judge, she saw a magistrate. And this Morris woman has the nerve to say, oh, that's what her name was? My goodness, this Morris woman is a complete airhead. This this is this is hilarious. Um, yes, the first judge that I'd seen, she said she was gonna give me a personal bond. I don't know if that was for the first time I went you mean to the magistrate the you didn't see a judge. You saw a magistrate the first time. Oh, magistrate. That's what her name is? <laughs> you serious? Um, yes, the first judge that I'd seen, she said she was going to give me a personal bond. I don't know if that was for the first time. I went you mean to jail the magistrate? The, you didn't see a judge. You saw a magistrate the first time. Oh, magistrate. That's what her name is? Well, that's her title. Um, <laughs> that she was going to give you a personal bond? Yes. Well, that's what's currently set. Why, do you want me to take that away and arrest you and then give you a personal bond? No, I just was letting you know that's the only thing that I... Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good promise to you. Yeah. Okay. Anybody threaten you or coerce you in any way to get you to plead to this chair? No. You're doing this voluntarily? Yes. Of your own free will? Yes. And because you believe that you're guilty of this offense? Yeah. What happens in the dark comes to light, so y'all are going to see a video, so yes. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're right about the first part. What happens in the darkness does come to light. But I'm asking you a different question. You're pleading guilty because you believe that you're guilty of this offense? Of being disorderly? And drunk. I thought disorderly was drunk. It can be. Well, I know I was drunk. And disorderly. <laughs> So you're here. So you Miss Bay's lawyer is cracking up over there. This woman is making a complete fool of herself. She is clearly a Moorish airhead. You're pleading guilty to the charge of disorderly drunk because you believe that you are guilty of that offense. Yes. Thank you. On the wrong one. On the date of April 3rd, 2022, at the location of 3135 Scenic Lake Drive, Pittsfield Township, Washington County, State of Michigan. This ought to be fun. Man, what do you do on that date that makes you think that you're guilty? Well. I know that I don't normally drink, and I had, like, a premiere party because I just did a commercial. So, we, you know, we had some drinks, um, casual drinks, but I'm not, like, normally a drinker, so I drank them. I guess I was mixing brown and light. I don't know if you know that that's not a good combination. And so, yeah, <laughs> I was drunk. Okay, so what happened? Um, I think I got into it with a family member and that triggered me to be upset while I was under the influence and I felt like no one was listening to me so I wouldn't stop yelling and so there was one officer
partner <clears throat> that was like hearing me out and just understanding like I had a lot going on. And then the other officers, I don't think they were understanding, or maybe I wasn't understanding that they were understanding, and they just wanted me to stop yelling. And so I was just still yelling with the officer. And okay, ma'am, hold on. Let's let's back up a second. Where were you when all of this was happening? Scenic Drive, outside. You were outside. <laughs> okay. And so while you were outside and you admit you were intoxicated, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And you were yelling at either police officers or other people, right? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And were you yelling loud enough to disturb the peace and repose of the area around you? Somewhat. And other people? What do you Somewhat. Say? Yes. <laughs> okay, what do you mean somewhat? Loud enough, but I don't think I was Hold that on a second. Loud. You were loud enough to get arrested, right? That wasn't why I was I don't think I was the loudness was a hundred percent the reason I was drunk. That was the reason, but I wouldn't not stop arguing with them. But my tone but, was loud. So you were arguing with the police? Yes. In public. Yes. And that caused at least their peace and repose to be disturbed, correct? Yes. And so <laughs> and so you admit by doing all of that, you were being disorderly. Yes. Counsel, um, please say yes, but has the court complied with the court rule? Would it be proper to accept this defendant's plea? Yes, you're out. The people are satisfied. <laughs> Sometimes it's like picking flowers. Other times it's like pulling teeth. Court will accept the defendant's plea of guilty to count one. Count two is dismissed. Ma'am, I'm going to refer you to probation uh -huh. for pre-sentence investigation and report. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but to me... For this Morris woman to get probation because she was drunk in public it seems a little harsh. Like that's all it takes to get probation is being dr intoxicated in public. It, it, it just doesn't seem right. I wonder what state she's in because whatever state she's in, they have a zero tolerance for public intoxication. Now. There is going to be alcohol testing. Ma'am, you have said numerous times during your plea, because I'm considering doing something else, that you don't normally drink. Yes. So this occurred in April of this year. Yes. So we are now in June. Yes. So for this entire year, how many times would you say that you consumed alcohol? I don't know. I'd be prior to like a couple months before that I was already in a program that basically was like a drug program that teaches people like well, um, I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead. So. I wasn't I was I wasn't I, I don't think I was drinking a lot before that incident and I know I know, know. I know nobody ever does think they're drinking a lot. Listen, <laughs> all I'm asking is from January first to today's date, how many times other than this time, have you consumed alcohol? Mm. Just ballpark it. A guesstimate. <laughs> Maybe five times. All right. My birthday was January 23rd. I turned okay, 21. Well, thank you for sharing. Well, I had to take I my first shot. Um, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I did. Did I, did I ask it off for the days? I just needed the number of times. Okay. She just turned 21 in January. Yes. That's why you had to have your first shot. I mean, I didn't have to, but I'm saying and I then, was And then so by April, okay, by April, you were drinking and got arrested. Hmm. Yeah. Not a good track record. That was less yeah. than three months. Yeah. So yeah. here's what we're going to do. I'm going to refer to probation, but I'm also referring her to Von Sports for an alcohol screening and assessment so we can figure out the level of testing. 
Okay, so you got two things you have to do. You have to do an alcohol screening assessment as well as you have to report to probation. Understood? Yes. And if I have any questions on that process, who do I talk to? Talk to your attorney, please. Not, okay. not me. All right. Okay. So I, I didn't mean it that way. Or maybe I did. Sentencing. <laughs> July 13, July 13, 2022. 9 a.m. Bond. That's when I have to do the testing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's when you've got to come back and I impose sentence. You have what to handle you? the testing before that. Call me and I will help you get everything. You're going to have to get an alcohol screening and assessment and you got to talk to my probation department. Okay. Call me. And I'll help you. Come back on the 7th or on July 13th. 13. And then I'm going to give you your sentence. Okay. Got it? Yes. Bond will continue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Yep. All the other cases are ready to be recalled, of course. Everything is ready now. Um, I have a feeling, though, just curious. All of that stuff I just ordered is not going to happen. <laughs> I'm just telling you. It's going to get here on July 13th. There's nothing going to be ready. And I'm going to invite everybody back because we're going to hear a long story about why it didn't happen. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> yeah, you got to make Feaster. Torsio. I'm here. Do not put that case on Ms. Kleeman. You need to come back and deal with that case yourself. Okay, I'll be back I think, I think everything that just happened it's my fault. and the minutes in my life I don't get back are all your fault. It's my fault, Judge. Just I'm, I'm okay. sorry. I just take sole saying. responsibility. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I know. I know. And even if you don't, I'm holding you responsible. <laughs> Thank you, so <Sean>. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>